So I've been a huge fan of the Revlon Color State Foundation for years. And the one that I've been using is the Combination to Oily Skin, number 340 Early Tan. I found that this color is a little bit too dark for me, so I did pick up a lighter shade. I picked up the color number 300 Golden Beige, also Combination to Oily Skin. I actually wanted to try out and see if the one for normal to dry skin is as comparable. I wanted to see what the difference was between these two types of foundations, the normal to dry skin and the combination to oily. Let me just tell you guys, my face is so weird. It's like a combination between dry and oily. I'm kind of like honestly in between these two. So I wanted to see for myself which one will actually work out for me. So I tried to pick up two colors that are pretty close to each other, um, but I found that the normal to dry skin colors I feel like were a little bit more pink um, as opposed to the combination to oily skin where I feel like there were more colors that had more of a yellow undertone but I don't know we'll see I did pick up the shade number 240 medium beige and this one is to normal to dry skin I'm gonna do the combination to oily skin on the right side of my face and I'm gonna take the normal to dry skin formula and do it on the left side of my face I'm gonna pour some into my hand I'm not gonna pour a lot because I'm only doing the half side of my face um, this foundation the Revlon color stay for oily skin I feel like is a little bit thick as you can see, it does not move around. It's, I mean, it's liquidy, but it definitely is a thicker foundation. All right. So this color, I feel like, is actually perfect. I was afraid that it was going to be too light, but no, it actually suits me perfectly. This foundation is really easy to blend, and it covers up like no other. It has kind of like a sticky finish, but it has like a matte finish. It covered up all my redness, all my acne scarring. It really blended into my skin. There's no streaks whatsoever. Okay, so now I'm going to take the one for normal to dry skin, number 240 medium beige. I'm going to apply it to this side of my face. So the one for normal to dry skin, I noticed when I was pouring it out of the bottle into my hand, it it's actually a more liquidier consistency. It's not super thick like the one for combination to oily skin. One for normal to dry skin, definitely less thick. I'm able to blend it out so it does blend out pretty nicely. But honestly, I feel like the coverage isn't as thick or it doesn't cover as much as the one for oily. It's a combination of skin. But still easy to blend out. I don't really have to blend. It just kind of melts and disappears really quickly. Both have that kind of foundation smell. I mean, I don't mind the smell, but... Okay, so... As far as the color, I feel like it matches okay. Um, I know my skin looks really, really light, but I feel like the lights are kind of washing me out in a way. So I'm going to finish up with the rest of my makeup and give it a couple minutes for it to set. Alrighty, so I finished up with the rest of my makeup. I did wait a couple minutes for it to set, and I feel like it finally has set. I didn't apply powder to my face because I really wanted to see how this foundation will last throughout the whole day. did notice that the one for oily to combination skin, I feel like is a little bit more sticky, whereas the one for normal to dry skin, I feel like has kind of like a powdery kind of natural finish to it. The normal to dry skin formula is a little bit lighter in consistency. It does offer some really great coverage. Even though it is lighter in coverage, I feel like coverage is still pretty good. Um, I think it's very comparable to the one for oily to combination skin. Um, I actually kind of like the finish of the one for normal to dry skin because the one for combination oily skin is a little bit thicker. Didn't oxidize or anything. I think the color matches my skin pretty well. It is 1.44 in the afternoon and I will see you guys later on. So it is 10 o'clock at night. It's pretty much the end of the night. I didn't apply a powder to set the foundation. I'm actually quite surprised because my face is not oily. It's not greasy and it kind of almost looks like I did apply powder. So I like how you don't have to actually apply that extra step when applying this foundation. Honestly, it's funny because even though these are two separate different formulas it looks exactly the same it definitely is a medium to full coverage foundation 
the finish is exactly the same my face is not oily it's not greasy it looks pretty much how it did earlier and I mean I've been out I've run errands I've I've done a lot of things today so I'm really really impressed I thought one was gonna be a lot different than the other because they're two different formulas but honestly they're the same exact things the one for a combination to oily skin it can look and feel a little bit thicker but once it sets into your skin and you go on throughout the rest of your day it leaves like a, almost like a natural flawless face so would I recommend one over the other probably not because they honestly do the same exact thing which is crazy um, even though the one for normal to dry skin looks and feels a little bit thinner when you apply it on essentially they do the same exact thing uh, one doesn't feel heavier than the other they both feel lightweight the only thing i didn't like was the one for normal to dry skin is a little bit more pink as opposed to the combination oily skin one it could be that i probably did pick up the wrong shade and there probably is one that has more of a yellow undertone but the one for normal to dry skin number 240 medium beige I feel like is a little bit too pink if I look closely this side is a little bit more pinker than this side um, golden beige number 300 is definitely my color it matches and suits me so perfectly again this is the one for oily to combination skin so you're gonna get the same result whether you pick up the combination to oily skin or the normal to dry skin that's just my two cents and this is just my opinion this is how it worked on my skin it may be different for a lot of other people out there who skin type is a little bit different but for my skin I feel like they're the same exact thing hope this was helpful I hope you guys enjoy this I hope this answered a lot of your questions in case you guys are wondering which one is better that's all I have to say I hope you guys enjoy this thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys